The second option we have for installing a transformer is to jack it from the trailer onto the transformer foundation. Let's see how that's done. Here we have a typical transformer foundation with a surrounding bond. Firstly, we drive the trailer up to the transformer bond, getting as close as possible. As a substation designer, we therefore need to position the road as close to the transformer bond as possible. Before we start, we need to mark out on the transformer foundation where the transformer will be positioned. The normal way to do this is to mark out using paint the four corners of the transformer tank. We also mark on the centre line of the transformer. It's essential that we do this, as trying to move the tank if we've made a mistake is going to be incredibly difficult, so we need to get it right first time. Once we've done this, we now position the trailer so that the transformer tank is in exactly the right position in relation to the markings we've made on the transformer slab. The device that's going to do all the work in this operation are the hydraulic jacks. These are normally provided by the haulier, who has the responsibility of getting the transformer from the trailer onto the foundation. There are two types. We have the manual jack, shown here, but more commonly now, we use automatic jacks, all synchronised with a central controller, which allows the operator to raise and lower the transformer in a controlled manner, keeping the transformer level at all times. Here we have a side elevation of the transformer compound. We position the jack under each of the transformer's jacking points, whether four or six. Once the jacks are in position, we slowly raise the transformer. This is normally done in several steps, as it's impossible for a single jack to raise the transformer to the height that we require. So in stage one, we raise the transformer. Then we provide wooden supports beneath the transformer. We obviously need to make sure that the packing materials used can take the full weight of the transformer. Then release the jacks. Raise them to a higher level and finish off the raising operation. Once we're at the required height, we then install the steel transfer beams, which will allow us to move the transformer onto its foundation. It's essential that these beams are level, as even the slightest gradient will lead to the transformer sliding in an uncontrolled way. One thing to note is that the steel beam must not rest on any part of the concrete structure, including the bund wall, as it will not be designed to carry the weight of the transformer. And this is why we need to raise the transformer to a level high enough that clears the bund wall. If we look at the beams from above, we can see that they are perfectly parallel and are fully supported by the packing across their full length. Once the transformer is securely on the beam, we can then lower and remove the jacks and then drive out the haulage trailer. The beams are specially designed to hold the weight of the transformer and have rollers which allow it to be moved along the length of the beam. Here are some typical examples. In this example, we can also see the wooden packing. We normally use old railway sleepers, solid pieces of wood, or, as we can see in the Bund area, steel tubes or structures. There are two common ways to move the transformer along the beam. For the larger transformers, we use horizontal jacks set up against the jacking points along the beam. We then repeatedly move the transformer, reposition the jack, move the transformer, reposition the jack, until we get to the end of the beam. For smaller transformers, we can use a hydraulic winch. If you look at the transformer, we have a specific winching point to which the winch cable is attached. We then slowly winch the transformer along the beam. To the required location. In real life, 
This operation can take several hours, and at each stage, the operator will ensure that the transformer is staying on the correct path. Once the transformer is in the correct location, we can now remove the winch and place the transformer on the jacks that will lower it into position. We now raise the jacks to take the weight of the transformer. We can now remove the steel beam. We now reverse the procedure which lifted the transformer onto the beam. As before, we do this in two clear stages, lowering it part of the way in stage one, Support the transformer with wooden packing, reposition the jacks, and then lower the transformer onto the foundation. The procedure is now complete.